Hello and welcome to my channel, Family Tech, where you get all the tech tips, news, and information to help you understand and manage the technology in your home. Today I'm going to break down the three most popular kids' music players that you can purchase. So we're talking about Tony's and Yoto and Juki. So let's get right into it. So these kids music players have really come onto the scene lately and a lot of parents are excited about it because they don't want to give them access to a phone or a smart assistant where they can have access to kind of the entirety of the internet. They really want a curated way to allow them to play music maybe when they're going to bed or other times during the day, but they don't want them to access content that they don't want them to access. So these different players have come out and there are some very significant differences between these top three players. So I'm going to break down exactly what those differences are. But first, let's concentrate on where they're all similar. Uh, but first, let's talk about pricing for just a second. So the cheapest one is going to be the Yoto player. Now the Yoto player is $99. It's going to come with one card that goes in the top and that's how you can customize playlists and things like that, but we'll get into that a little bit later. But so it comes with one card, it's $99. There is also a mini version and that is $69. So, and it also comes with just one card. So that's gonna be your most affordable option. Option. Next up is the Juki player. Now the Juki is going to be about $112. It comes with two tokens, so you can customize playlists and things like that. It's going to come with two of those, but it's going to be about a little bit more expensive than the Yoto at $113, $112. And then finally, we have the most expensive option. This is the Tony's device. The Tony's, it comes in at $139, but will come with three Tony's tokens. So, and these are the, again, how you customize your playlists and things like that, how they play the music. So it comes with three and it is $139. So I'm going to say most of these devices are pretty similar in cost. Just depends on how many of these tokens so different customization options that you can include with the device. Um, this one's the most expensive, but it also comes with the most tokens. So as you can see, all three of these devices are super portable. The Yodos, you can buy this little adventure pack. This one's really soft. These are all just really portable. You can charge them up and take them wherever you want to go um, and they can play music without being plugged in. So they're all three very portable. Also, the three of them feature a volume limiting tool in the admin app. So you install the app on your phone and you can limit how loud each of these devices can be. So that way your kids aren't blasting music throughout the house or to help kind of save their ears, it's going to limit that volume. You don't have to use those li volume limiting controls, but it is an option for you on all three devices. All three of them also give you the opportunity to upload your own MP3s. So if you have a CD that your children like, you can rip those MP3s and get those onto the device through any of those tokens. So you can create your own playlists with your own MP3s. You can also record your own audio. So if you're going to be out of town or something like that and you want to record yourself um, reading a, like their favorite story or recording record yourself saying good night. You can do all of that through the apps for the individual devices. So you can record your own audio and you can upload your own MP3s. So that is where all three of them are similar in those features. All right, now let's get into where they are different. I'm gonna go ahead and start again with the least expensive and that is going to be this Yoto device. So one of the really awesome things about the Yoto is that the um, customized playlists and the things that you can buy are really small. They're cards, basically. So you can bring a lot with you wherever you go. You know, with the Tonys um, and the 
With the Tonys and the Jukies, the tokens are a little larger, so it's going to be harder to bring a great number of them on a trip or anything like that. But with the Yoto, I mean, look at how many cards I can just fit right in the palm of my hand here. The other thing about the, like, and I'm just gonna call, refer to all of these as tokens. So here they're cards. Um, on the Tonys, it's called a Tony. And on the Juki, it's called a token. But I'm just gonna refer to them all as tokens for ease of this video. So all of the tokens for all three devices are going to cost additional money. So the Yoto actually has the cheapest options here where the cheapest card is going to be $1.99 most expensive card set is around $54.99 and uh, that's for all of the Ramona and Beezus books. So it's like eight different Ramona books and that's why it's $54.99. But individual books themselves are anywhere from about $4.99 to $6.99, just depending on what you're getting. If you're gonna get a series that has multiple books inside, then it is going to be more expensive, again, because you're getting more books. The other big pro about Yoto is the amount of books they have available. As you can see, I've got Diary of a Wimpy Kid here, or, um, and then I have another Diary of a Wimpy Kid, so different books. I've also got like Ronald Dahl, or just a compilation of different bedtime stories. So there is a huge selection of books available for you to purchase. The other thing that really sets the Yoto player apart is this, um, there is basically like a nightlight and you can kind of see it illuminate. Um, there it goes. You can see it illuminate. It can be different colors for different time frames of the day. So if you want it to illuminate red during bedtime and then illuminate a different color when they're allowed to wake up. When I was a new parent, I always thought it would be great to have a clock that changed the color when they were allowed to get out of bed and get up for the day because some kids are not aware of time frames, And so they don't know that if it's 7.30, they need to get out of bed. So if they can see this nightlight is a different color in the middle of the night, they know it's not time to get out of bed and then it can automatically change its color at 7.30 when it is okay for them to get out of bed. So that way this nightlight is really helpful for parents to let them know exactly what those time frames are. It also has this great clock and weather that you can have on the screen. So they can look over, see the clock, see the color, and they can really associate the time frame with the color and know that it's time to get out of bed or it's time to still be sleeping. So these modes that you program for bedtime and for daytime also allow you to change what the button does when you press it. So if you press the button, you can have it so it plays white noise or plays um, a bedtime radio station or a daytime radio station or a daytime playlist or something like that. So you can really customize these buttons to do different things for different times of the day. So if they wake up and it's still bedtime, they want to um, turn their uh, want to turn their white noise on, they can go ahead and just press that button and turn the white noise back on. They don't have to mess with around with the cards or anything like that. They can just turn that back on automatically. The other thing you can do with these buttons is create different timers. So you can have a timer for brushing their teeth. So they push the button. It counts down the amount of time that they're supposed to be brushing their teeth. Or you can set it up to do a homework time so they can do kind of a Pomodoro technique where they're concentrating on homework for a very limited amount of time. They can press that button. It'll count down that timer for their homework time. They can take a break when that's done. And then when they come back from the break, press the thing again to start a new timer for a new homework time. So again, you can customize these buttons to do different things during different times of the day. The other really great thing about the Yoto is its navigation. So if you turn this dial, you can go to the next chapter or the next track, and you can kind of scroll through which tracks you actually want to play. So if you have been on chapter three, you can go directly to chapter three and push play, and then it will start at chapter three. Or if you want a specific story for bedtime stories, you can turn the knob and go 
go to that specific story. The other knob is the volume knob. So you can twist this knob and increase the volume or decrease the volume. Really easy to navigate through the chapters and through the playlist and through the volume. The last thing that really sets the Yoto apart is the ability to add specific podcasts to different cards. So if you have a create your own card, so this is a like make your own card. My son kind of drew a little picture on it and um, put some, some words on it and created his own card. So you can create, if they really like a specific podcast, you can sign up for the RSS feed of that podcast, meaning it'll automatically get the latest episode and you can associate that with the card. So when you put the card in, it's going to play that specific podcast. The other ones don't give you the capability to associate a very specific podcast to automatically download those episodes to that specific card. Um, so that is one thing that really, really sets Yoto apart. And again, it doesn't just have to be books. So you can have different playlists that you associate with a card. Some of these already come with different playlists. So this is um, just different instruments. This one is just a crackling fire. There's different white noise sounds that you can add or even just help you learn different languages. So you can see the back of these cards kind of say what kind of card it is. So this is an activity. This is my first 100 words, but this is a sound effects card. It's crackling fire. And then of course there's a radio station. So this is Yoto Kids Radio. So it's gonna have different songs all the time. And then of course there's the stories cards where you can see the different books that are available. So now let's move on to the Juki. So the Juki has tokens just like the Yoto. Um, these ones are fairly flat. You can buy a pack of six tokens for $24.99. They also have more fun tokens. Now you can buy a pack of five of these larger tokens that have just basically, you know, this is like a little ghost. This is a dinosaur maybe, a whale. And these figures are $34.99 for a pack of five. Now, similarly to the Yoto, the Juki features really easy to use navigation buttons. This one's going to move you to the next track or back to the previous track. And then this one is just for volume. So it's really easy to tell. There's just two buttons available, exactly what you want, navigation and volume. Now, what really sets the Juki apart is the ability to sync the tokens to a specific Spotify playlist. So if you want to update the token, you just have to update that playlist inside of Spotify. And then you can just put the token on the player and it's going to start that Spotify playlist that you have assigned to this token. So Juki is the only one of these devices that will allow you to synchronize to a cloud-based service like Spotify. So you don't have to upload your own MP3s. You can use Spotify instead. However, it does also allow you to upload MP3s, as I mentioned in the breakdown of what they all can do. Also, the Yoto and the Juki can be used as a Bluetooth speaker. So if you have your phone and you want to play um, music from your phone to a Bluetooth speaker, the Juki and the Yoto can be used as a Bluetooth speaker. The Juki also has a USB-C charging cable. The other two have very proprietary cables to charge the devices, but with the Juki, you can just use a standard USB-C cable and charge that wherever you wanna go. The last one we've got is the Tonys. Now the Tonys has this really soft exterior. So, you know, if your kid is rough on their devices, this might be a really good option for you. As opposed to the Yoto, the Tonys does have some books, but the Yoto is going to have a whole lot more books. And the books that the Tonys has is geared a lot more towards smaller children. So it's going to be like picture books or anything, you know, it has a big selection of Disney books, but again, it's going to have picture books like um, Dragons Love Tacos and this La Mama and 
a lot of Disney stuff, as you can see. But that's what's going to be limited for the Tonys. And the Tonys themselves are fairly expensive. So you can see here they range from about $14.99 to $19.99. But they do kind of double as toys because they are small figurines that have popular characters. So there's the plus side in how expensive they are is it's not just to play the songs or play the books It is they can play with these Individually one thing I was kind of disappointed with with the Tonys though is the navigation So the volume is really easy. You just tap here or here to volume up or volume down and that's really easy to do however to fast forward a track or rewind a track, you have to tip the device, or to go to the next track, you have to hit the device on the side. It says tap, but tap never really worked for me. I had to hit it significantly hard in order to get it to the next track. Now where this becomes a problem is that if you have a Tony that doesn't have a solid base, if you tip it over, it's going to fall off the device. But if you have a Tony that has a more solid base, it won't fall off. So it was disappointing that some of these tokens are a little iffy when it comes to moving the device around. The other thing I was disappointed with with the Tonys is that it doesn't seem like it was the legit songs. So if you're familiar with the music, it's not quite the right track. So this is not the exact track that is in the movie. So I'm confused with that because it looks like it is licensed, but it's not the right actual song. If you like if you're familiar with the track, you can tell. But that's not exactly the right singer. Most of them have a really similar setup process. You install the app, you either scan a code, type in a code um, to connect the device, and then you connect it to Wi-Fi. Um, they're all pretty similar in that respect. You just need to download the app and you're good to go. I will say with the Juki though, you don't need to set up an account, which is a huge plus for that one. You don't have to give them your email address or set up a specific account. You can just connect and be done. I would say the only one I don't necessarily recommend is the Tonys just because of the navigation, the expense of the different Tonys and the expense of the player itself. That's the one kind of on the bottom of my list. Although I do like the softness of the device itself, but uh, the navigation is really what kind of turned me off from that device. And the fact that it wasn't the legitimate songs. So I would say my favorite would be the Yoto player. The second choice would be Juki, unless, like I said, if you really like Spotify and you don't wanna deal with uploading your own MP3s, then I would go with the Juki in that case. So hopefully this helps you make your decision on what music player you wanna get for your kids. If you are leaning more towards the Juki for the Spotify integration, uh, another device you might wanna look at is the Mighty Vibe. It's a very small, mp3 type player but it connects with spotify and you can download spotify playlists to the individual player itself hopefully this gives you some ideas of what you can do for your kids um, who want to listen to music or books or anything like that if you appreciate this content please like this video subscribe to my channel please go ahead and do that or go ahead and follow me on social media i am at family tech everywhere so we'll see you next time